Hey everybody, it's Brad and I'm Krista from the Big Family Homestead and guess what? It's Prepper Monday. Yes. But wait, wait just a second, because um, it's not actually Monday. Not actually Monday. It's Tuesday. So it's not really Prepper Monday. No. It's Prepper Tuesday. Yeah. Normally Prepper Monday, but we were busy yesterday. Yeah. Couldn't prep it up, but we're gonna make up for it today because we got lots and lots of goodies. We're gonna be talking about uh, poor man's home security kind of stuff. We've got some suggestions and ideas and uh, well, giz gizzards and gadgets and gazmos <laughs> on ways that you can secure your home mm -hmm. cheaply. Yep. And we're gonna go over a bunch of stuff that we keep in our bug out bag and essentials that we think you should have on hand at all times. Yep. So where do you want to start, Mamacita? Well, uh, we can start with food. Food stuff. items. Yeah, let's start with food items. Okay. You know, we have a daughter who has uh, special needs, and she is um, only G tube fed at the moment. Working on that. Um, so we have some Pediasure that we keep on hand. Um, it's hard to keep this though in um, cold weather. In cold weather or even summertime, it 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 turns pretty easily. So we do have the Carnation Instant Breakfast that we keep in the uh, car at all times. The only issue is you have to have milk to that. So this is something that we keep uh, in a bag in the house that whenever we have to go, we go somewhere with But it. now keep in mind, this stuff is pretty much a meal in a can. Yeah. This could feed anybody. Just because Grace has uh, a G-tube fed issue, uh, that's how she has to have it. But anybody can take this and drink it. And I've actually tasted it myself. And it kind of tastes like a melted milkshake. Yeah. Yeah. It's This particular can is eight ounces and it is 240 calories in this In that one little can. thing. Yep. That's pretty crazy. And so having some of this kind of stuff on hand would help anybody, not just special needs folks. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, like Mama was saying, is that it doesn't do well in extreme temperatures exactly exactly other options other options are these emergency ration bars that taste like dog food yeah but it'll keep you alive it will so <laughs> this will. this block here is um it is 2400 calories and this will this will keep you sustained for three days one person for three days so this is this is jack 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 full of chucks it's full of great stuff. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. These things, it's like Lembus bread from The Hobbit right, and The right. uh, Lord of the Rings. You know, there there are simple ingredients in this, which I do like. Wheat flour, shortening, not a fan of that, but... You gotta can, have fat. Well, yeah, but you could always use a different kind of fat. Well, I mean, like, look at me. I, I'm gonna not need fat for a while. I could exist solely on rabbits for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so it's wheat flour, vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt in this. These blocks right there. And by the way, guys, all of this stuff we're going to show you, there's going to be a link down below for you to see anything more clearly. We're just kind of showing you some of the stuff, not all the stuff, but some of the stuff that we keep in our bug out bags yep. uh, pretty much all the time yeah. but you know what I just thought of something there's probably people watching who are going what is a bug out bag mm -hmm. yeah that's true a bug out bag guys is if there's some kind of an emergency doesn't matter fill in the blank um, somebody's at the door Hold we'll be on right one back second. sorry we had a knock at the door and a delivery of actually more food for grace yep. uh, so continuing on with a bug out bag if there's some kind of crisis or just fill in the blank, it could be a natural disaster or heaven forbid something, you know, militarily, or if there was a collapse of a financial system, mm -hmm. you know, first of all, let me address this guys. Uh, a lot of people think, well, that couldn't happen here. And they only base those ideas on the fact that nothing has happened here for a while. Right. But if you look at history and look around the world, most places are at war now. Mm -hmm. And it's abnormal that we're not at a state of war. We've been very, very fortunate as a country in, in that we have stayed out a lot of that stuff. 
But even if it was not that, financial collapse, we're what, $18 trillion in debt? It's plus that. It's more than Mathematically, that. it can't keep going. They can't keep kicking the can down the road. It's a certainty. It's just a matter of when. And so when we talk about bug out bags, you're talking about something that you can, that you got in one specific place, a bag or a, a carry on or a backpack or whatever it is that you have access to, uh, the stuff that will keep you alive and help you to have better chances of survival or getting from point A to point B uh, uh, or information, food, all those things that'll help keep you alive. So when you hear the term bug out bag, I know it kind of makes people kind of cringe if you're not in the prepping circle because it sounds foreign. It sounds, oh my gosh, what are you gonna, oh, you're just gonna be like Rambo out in the woods. And <laughs> the reality is we call it insurance. Right. Well, you know, and there's other situations where, okay, say it's snowing and you get stuck in mm -hmm. a bank. Well, how are you going to What if you're you there for alive? days? Right. How these little things are great to keep you heated. What was there's, you, yeah. I mean, this will keep you alive for several days. It's It's not just the doom and gloom exactly. scenario. It's, it's the what if day-to-day -day stuff. Exactly. Well, let, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about some of the goo we got in here. This, uh, what Mama just pointed out, is an alcohol stove. Mm -hmm. And I built this. All you do, I'll show you how it works, but basically... It's a small little quart paint, uh, quart paint can. Yep, that you get a toilet paper roll mm -hmm. and you cram it in there. Yep, you take the paper, the cardboard paper out of the center and you just kind of mash it and you shove it down into this this quart paint jar. Yep, careful moment, that's got alcohol no, on it. No, I know. Then, then you soak it with alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and light this up right here, but you can see, oops. Ooh, come on, it's going. Mm. This lighter isn't working. This is a bad example. <laughs> there it goes. There. See, but what you've got is it's going to burn clean. Oh, that's that's. And it puts out a lot of immediately. heat. Immediately. Now, I wouldn't do this in an enclosed situation unless it was dire, 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 and then you would only have to well, it let it run for a little clean. bit. Yeah, but you still got to be worried about fumes. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, this is hotter yeah, than snot. I can feel the heat right here already. But this device, guys, cost me all of four bucks to make. And that was really the cost of the the alcohol and the and the paint. Can. And it's reusable. Watch, mm -hmm. done. It's out. It's out. Yep. It's okay. out. See? Something like this could save your life. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk a little bit more about the stuff that we keep in our car that we keep in our van. We've got. It's like a bug out bag. It's really just a big just a red satchel. bag. Here, it's just a and satchel. we keep a bunch of stuff in there. Now going back to say. Um, Let's go back to, well, let's start with medical. Okay, okay. We have a few a few medical things here. Um, we have a germ kit. Say there's some kind of biohazard issue. Um, a spill, a, trains derail all right, the time. Right. You could get stuck someplace where there is bad chemical nonsense mm -hmm. going on. Right, there's a biohazard waste bag in here, a CPR face mask, a respirator mask, uh, um, gloves, hand sanitizer, towel, uh, BZK towelettes, iodine prep, alcohol mm -hmm. prep pads, sure. dry surgical scrub brush. And what you've got is you've got it in one convenient little bag. And it's vacuum sealed. That tucks right into your bag. Yep. And it's this Mylar bag is not, is pretty, is ripped. Sorry, very sturdy. <laughs> what she said. Right. Um, we also then, keep a surgical kit. It, this is a minor surgery kit. Uh, this has a little flashlight in case you need uh, to shine a light on a, a little wound. spot. But then it has some of the hemostats in here, sure, the clamps. Yeah. It also has some really, really pointed uh, tweezers. It has the... Um, the uh, Sealed. These are sterile sealed blades. Uh, surgical blades. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the scalpel um, tool here. So you this never is, know. Right. I mean, if you're out in the woods or you're stuck somewhere and you have to be the doctor, yep. it's better to have this stuff on hand. What do they say? It's better to, to uh, have it and not need it than want it and not have it. Right, right. And then there's or also a suture <laughs> kit. 
So that's, this is really, really important. Yep, and um, well, going back to other, there's there's other food items that are out there, guys. Mm -hmm. um, we are absolutely in love with the Thrive Life uh, mm -hmm. freeze-dried foods, but we're not gonna talk about them today because mm -hmm. we talk about them a lot. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a different option here. These are called survival tabs, bam. Very and similar to the ration bars, but in They're like in pellet form. form. Mm -hmm. And like here, a let me give you one, Mama. Size. Like this. Yeah. And they're they're just like a little tablet mm -hmm. that you eat, and they they actually taste not bad. Go ahead, Mama. It's chocolate. It's chocolatey, and it says here this pack of 24 is meant to keep you alive and going for 48 hours at a time. This can be stretched to 96 hours in extreme conditions. And bottom line is, it's just it's, it's vitamins and um, I see. 240 calories. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, at first the flavor is not that great, but then as you get into it, it tastes it tastes chocolatey. This one's the chocolate ones. Mm -hmm. They make vanilla. They make strawberry. But what's nice, guys, is look at this. It's a small pack bag. Mm -hmm. You can reseal it. Yep. And that way, it's not going to get wet. Tucks away in your bag. Yep. And that can that can literally save your life. Mm -hmm. It's got loads of vitamins in here. It's got some dry, non-fat, dry milk, solids, mm -hmm. sucrose, vegetable oils. Um, like I said, different vitamins and fla um, flavorings and. But it's it's yeah. it's easy. Mm -hmm. It's light, and oh, wow. uh, they don't taste that bad. You got to check this out. Mm. The best by date. Twenty forty. That's insane. So these things you can just throw in your bag and you're not worried about them going bad. Right. Um, we prefer the Thrive Life Foods, but this is beyond convenient. Well, this is this is in dire emergency. Yeah, you just, mm -hmm. if you gotta get through, these, are, these things are very easy. Yep. Now let's talk a little bit about, um, a little bit more on um, if you might get stuck for more than a few moments, days, and you're having to try and forage. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're stuck out in the wilderness and um, you don't know what you're looking at, but here is a really cool product. It's called Wild Cards Edible Wild Foods. So these are actually playing cards mm -hmm. that tell you all the natural foods that you can eat in your area. It Come tells out. you what it's good for. It tells you- Come out of him. Hey, let me have Hallelujah. It. Let me have it. Let me have it. Before you break them, let me have it. Oh, it's the... Uh, it's the, the chain. Here. Yeah, the chain stopped. Them. Gotta be. It's... You gotta be careful. You gotta undo the chain. Okay, fine. I'll undo the you chain. Gotta undo the chain. Gosh. Jeez. This is live video right now. Yeah, that's happening. Yep. All right. So, you've got your playing cards on one side. And then you have your pictures of what you're looking for on the other side. And then on the back where the playing card part is, is all the information. There's warnings, like this one, Meadow Sweet. It says, not a bulk food due to the high mineral content, okay? Edible twigs, leaves, and flowers. What is it? Yeah, and it yeah. tells you what you can eat. Yeah. Like some of them, you can't eat the, the leaves. You can only eat the root or the stem. So this is this is really really cool. Yep, I love these cards. And so this is something that I think is only a couple bucks. Like I said, yeah. I'll I'll find the the link and put it down mm -hmm. there. But this is the kind of thing where you know, uh, you you can have a massive amount of food all around you and you just don't know it. Exactly. It, you could have a veritable salad bar in your yard. Yeah, that God has provided everything we need on this planet for us to survive, and it's out there. It's in the Especially woods. Especially coffee. Okay. <laughs> so let's move it on. Let's talk a little bit about home security uh, that is cheap, like poor man's home security. Okay, guys. We um, have several different ways that we can secure our house. Now, heaven forbid something so bad happened where you'd have people coming around looking to take what you got. Mm -hmm. But once again, it happens. It happens all over in the world. And just because it hasn't happened here yet does not mean it won't. And number two, 
This is just practical stuff for your day to day. People get robbed every day. Yeah. And so I wanted to just point out a few things that we do that um, that might help you. And the first one is right there, Mama. Don't oil your your hinges on your doors. If they start squeaking, leave it. I yep. know it's irritating every time you open up that door, but let me tell you. If it's if it's midnight and you hear that squeak, you know exactly what's going on. You got time to get yourself armed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is not good when you have teenage boys. Yeah, which has <laughs> happened before. Yes, it has. <laughs> but leave the squeaky door because mm -hmm. you know what? At least you'll know and you'll have an, an alert. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Other things. Uh, let's get see. a dog. Yep. Get a dog. I mean, you know, I know there's a lot of people who have allergies to dogs, and there's dogs that you can have that live Short outside. Hair. Or, and then there are short hair dogs. Um, terriers are great animals to have for um, people that have for allergies. There's tons of different animals, hypogenic, hypoallergenic animals. Sorry. Yeah. Well, there's also a, a bunch of different door bracings. Mm -hmm. uh, there's ones that fit like a wedge into the door. And not only do that you can get them that will wedge, but they'll also set an alarm. Mm -hmm. Those are only like 10 bucks. Yeah. Yep. But then there's the other uh, kind of door bracings that are a bar that can shove in there up against the handle. Those work great. Also, if you have sliding glass doors, the simplest thing in the world, a broom handle. Yeah, just or a, a, a pretty large dowel to put in that door. Just where, where the door slides, where the other one just, so just butts up there so you, mm -hmm. you can't open it up. Right. Those kind of things are cheap or free, mm -hmm. and you can do that and help secure your house better. Yep. But also, one thing that we have done uh, so that your doors can't be breached very easily is we'll get these little metal brackets. They, they're, they come down, and then you can screw them right into the wall, and I'll show you what we've done here. But then you just lay a two by four on there mm -hmm. and you're not getting through there. Mm -mm. You're just not getting through there nope, nope. because you're using what's in effect. You're using the entire frame of the door as a defense right. rather than just a little bit of a lock. Right. And well, and I also like the, the one that we have at our front door so that you're not having this. It's pretty hideous looking <laughs> yeah, was, bar, but there is a, a, a really cool latch that we'll show you that yeah. is, it was, I think it was $20. It was a latch. little pricey. It was a little pricey, but considering that it will hold against 8,000 pounds, That's I think, what it of says. pressure, it doesn't open. It does so, not open at all. But the thing is this, if somebody's wanting to get into your house and they are hell bent, mm -hmm. there's a good chance they're gonna do it. Right. But what these things are gonna do is they're gonna buy you time. Mm -hmm. They're gonna buy you time to get yourself ready to defend mm -hmm. or push back. Right. And so there's tons of these things out on the internet, guys, and I would encourage you to do some research because you don't have to spend a lot of money on this stuff. And it's basically insurance. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What do you think? Is it? Are we done for today? I think so. Are we, we prepper Tuesday day is accomplished? Prepper Tuesday, prepper Monday slash Monday. Tuesday. Prepper Monday Thursday. That comes later in the year. Claire is saying it's <laughs> prepper. Uh, Tonday. Tonday. So anyway, I hope this stuff has helped you guys out um, because, in all honesty. Uh, you never know what could happen tomorrow. You never know what could happen today. Right. And so if you get some of these items and you learn how to use them, that's really important. Learn how to use them. Yeah. You'll be better off. Yes, you really will. So anyway, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. You guys go have a preppery, prepper day. Have a great day.